Welcome back to another Advent of Code tutorial video. So today we'll be looking at 2022 problem one. So as usual with problem one, the beginning part is mostly just flavor text and information about the actual challenge itself. So if you want to perform f quickly, usually it's actually good enough to just start at the first code block where the sample input is, because the part afterwards usually tells you enough about uh, what you need to know. So let's just go through the whole thing though, um, in case you're new to the channel. So Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food, but they need a lot of magical energy to deliver their presents on Christmas. And their favorite snack is a special type of star fruit that only grows deep in the jungle. So for those of you unfamiliar with Advent of Code, each day there's a problem released at the same time, and you can get a star for each part. Each problem is two parts. And the first 100 people to finish each part of the problem will gain points equal to how quickly they did it. So like the first person gets 100 star uh, points and the last person in the group of 100 gets one star and everyone after that doesn't get anything and there's a global leaderboard. So to supply enough magical energy, you need to retrieve a minimum of 50 stars by December 25th. So two parts a day for the entire the, of December up to Christmas, that gives a total of 50 stars. And you collect these stars by solving puzzles. Okay, so let's start looking at the problem statement from here. The jungle must be too overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access from the air. So the elves' expedition traditionally goes on foot. And as your boats approach land, they begin taking inventory of their supplies. An important consideration is food, in particular the number of calories each elf is carrying, which is your puzzle input. So they each take turns writing down the number of calories in each uh, meal, snack, ration, etc. that they have with them, one per line. And then uh, there's a blank line between each elf. So if we look at this problem, there are a total of five elves. The first one is carrying three items equal to a total of 6,000 calories. The second one just has one 4,000 calorie item. The third is carrying a total of 1,100, sorry, 11,000 calories, etc. In case the elves get hungry and need extra snacks, they want to know which elf to ask, and specifically, how many calories are carried by the elf with the most calories. So, let's begin by taking the input. So, the easiest way to take input for these types of problems, in my opinion, is to just run a while loop and each time try getting a new line of input, and if that fails, we've reached the end of line. So, um, in this case, also, another quick tip, um, this actually messed me up during this part, which is why I didn't rank on day one. Don't put the rest of your code here, because if there are any errors here, they will get caught by the accept and you'll just exit your loop. So you might not even notice the errors, uh, which is what happened for me because I was saving my file in CLRF instead of LF, which was causing problems with the inputting. So put your code afterwards. If there are errors, it will crash your program instead because they'll tell you something's wrong. Okay, so now if we successfully get a line of input, what do we do with it? Well, there are two cases. Either it's a blank or it's not. You could put an else block here. I usually just put continue for these like guard statement type things. So if there's an extra line, then we know we're on the next elf. So let's keep a list of elves. Let's just call it A. So if the line is blank, then we can just append a new zero. The next elf starts with zero calories. Otherwise, we can add to the next elf. So since the first line isn't blank, you can't just do a last index plus equals whatever. In this case, it's just int of line. So you can assume that there will be at least one elf in the input because that's fairly obvious. So you just start a as a list containing the number zero. And so the first line represents the first elf. And so it immediately begins adding to their inventory. And for subsequent lines, if it's blank, you append a new zero to start a new elf. Once you've finished going through all your input, it's simply a matter of printing out the max element of A. And so if we run this, we see that we get our puzzle answer here. Of, um, yeah, 74394. So now the second part. By the time you calculate this answer, they've already realized that the elf carrying the most calories might eventually run out. And so they instead want to know the total calories carried by the top three elves. And so this is also not too much harder. 
the easiest way to do this is to just sort A and then uh, print the sum of the last three elements of A, which you can do like this. Um, alternatively, if you sort it in reverse, then you can take the first three elements, which might be easier. Um, it just depends on what you're used to. This is faster to type, so I went with this. Um, as a little bonus, this is technically not the most optimal way to do it because sorting a list is O of n log n. If you instead were to take the maximum element and remove it and then take the max again and do that three times, that would be O of 3n, which is just O of n. Um, so technically that is more optimal, although it's honestly probably slower with how efficient sort algorithms are these days. So if we run this again, we get our input of 212836, which is the correct answer for part two. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed. Um, check back tomorrow for day two.